Good morning, world. So, as promised, we spoke in the last video about how to say no, and this one is about how to not accept no. So, there's a few strategies. Um, the first one is, even if you get fired, you can say, I'll think about that. And they may come back with, oh, um, this isn't something to think about. You're fired. Well, I'll, I'll be thinking about it. You can just keep saying that. And I have tried this where you just um, come from where you are coming from. You don't have to respond to what it is that they're saying. And what it gives you is a, more, is a, a better sense of your own power that even if someone is trying to fire you, that's almost immaterial because you still have to think about it. Um, and it might turn around. Many people who have been fired get hired back. Um, so, um, another thing you can do in business if you're, um, and this is something that really works, when people bring up objections, you can, um, well, there's two things you can do. Not you can not respond to the objections um, and just keep coming with the benefits. Um, the other idea is to tackle the objections head on and uh, go through each one. So for example, I got a letter saying uh, my price was too high for teaching private photography for three hours. Well, I wrote a letter back explaining why it had to be that price. So that was an example of using their objections to your advantage in countering each one. So you're not accepting no. So sometimes it's easier to accept no, but many times if you don't accept no, and either A, take those objections head on, or B, keep continuing on like they didn't say anything. Um, it can work, and I don't have percentages, I don't have statistics on how often it works, but it's certainly worth a try. It feels more powerful to, to not do that. I've seen other people do it too. Um, when you ask someone's opinion and they tell you something really negative, you don't have to believe it. Um, oftentimes, I have asked people about... No, I usually don't ask. <laughs> but people have volunteered information about a country to me that they, in fact, have never visited. So you have to consider the source of people either A, telling you negative things, or B, just saying no. So, um, it's the art of persuasion, actually, and not accepting that that no is a final answer. Um, I suggest that it takes practice, but if you're going to go into a negotiation or something where you feel like there may be some opposition, Take some time to meditate and get quiet and calm. And actually, that's what we'll do in the next video. I'll show you what I do to meditate and calm myself. And then you can come from a more powerful place of being centered in your own spirit in person and not being easily blown about like a leaf in the wind. So. Let me know how you have not accepted no in your own lives, or if you're having trouble with not accepting no, or persuading people, in the comments below. And please subscribe, and thank you for your comments. So I'll see you in the next video. Aloha.